Hello, this is Bini here. Today I want to share this piece of news with you and that is China half its stamp duty for stock purchase. Now when we buy stocks, we have to pay taxes and that's called stamp duty. China half its stamp duty starting two days ago. For example, if you make a purchase of 100,000 RMB worth of stocks, instead of paying 0.1%, which is 100 RMB, you'll be right now paying only half of it. That's 50 RMB. So this is seen as a move to boost the confidence of the market. But in turn, we saw quite a huge impact on the Hong Kong market. Overall, Hong Kong market went up on Monday upon the release of this news. Now today I want to talk about Hong Kong Exchange. Now this video is proudly sponsored by Macquarie. Let's take a look at the historical price level of Hong Kong Exchange. There was a resistance here and then a resistance zone here three times. And right now, if we look at the current price, then it won't be surprising to find that Y price is supported at 280 because that's a previous resistance that is right now turning into a support. Now, if you look at this 280 support level, Hong Kong Exchange touched this level three times already with the last touch right showing a weekly doji candle now this weekly doji candle means that the bulls and bears are you know still deciding what to do at this level they are probably a little bit confused and with this weak price movement price moved above the doji level this means that who won eventually and that's the bulls at this moment if we have a look into the day chart hong kong exchanged gapped up due to the news on Monday. Now it corrected a while but today on the Tuesday it continued to move up. Now there are a few key levels to have a look for Hong Kong exchange. First would be this gap here. Now if price should continue to move down then there might be a chance for this gap to close. Have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like? With the up trust that we've seen from November last year, 2022, to early this year, 2023, it seems that the current pattern is a corrective alert wave ABC pattern. Now, in this case, the price is right now forming a very ugly, like a bullish reversal chart pattern, uh, which is like this double bottom here. It is not confirmed that this is a double bottom as price hasn't moved out of its neckline yet. So I've identified the neckline of this double bottom and that's about 330 level here. Now, should price continue to move up, then the 330 would remain the immediate resistance as uh, price is still not showing any uptrend yet so i have to assume that it is in a consolidation ranging manner with a key support at about 305 and then a key resistance at 330. of course if the 330 level is broken then the next key number would be 350 that is given by the recent high here and as well as a round number 350. This is Hong Kong Exchange call warrant here. If you are looking for price to continue to move up, then you want to select the call warrant. If you think that price is likely to move down, then you want to select the put warrant. So I'm just going to click the call warrant and then it came up with this burning fire warrant here. And that's easy to choose. And, and if I think that, for example, Hong Kong Exchange is to go up to a key level of 330 as I map out in two weeks time, so this would be the potential gain of this particular warrant. Trading the warrant is high risk. Just now, I've demonstrated the use of call warrants if price should move up according as planned. But what if it doesn't, then you can lose that similar amount as what you've seen in the demonstration just now. Do let me know what other stocks you would like me to cover. Leave it in the comment. And remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Appreciate that.